Hey YouTube, coming at you with the viewer submitted team in the Weather Cup. Uh, Jelson, Charizard, and Aggron. And I think this is an interesting team. So Jelson's already like super bulky, super meta in that. Charizard is one of those Pokemon where it's like there's grass and there's ice. So Blast Burn, even, <laughs> even against water, Blast Burn does like 50%. It's just such a hard hitting move. Uh, and then a Smackdown Aggron, I think, is very smart in this meta. Uh, again, you're weak to water. At least the Steel kind of neutralizes grass, but the Smackdowns do add up, especially as Shadow version. So, like, Jelson, I, I haven't watched the battles yet, but my thought would be uh, Jelson Charizard would just be grab a ton of shields, um, put a lot of shield pressure on, or heavy damage with these Shadow Balls and Blast Burns, and then Smackdown uh your opponent with shield advantage would be how i would think this team goes but we'll see charizard and lead so good lead obviously um again the wing attack it's uh so they try and catch they do catch so, so good catch there it looks like they caught on what a bomb snow? oh well rain um so coming in here this is interesting why why are we cannot come in egg and smacking this down So I guess we're just going to grab shields here, which is fine. Not surprising, like just try and grab shields. That does a ton of damage. Could <laughs> This is where it gets interesting. You have energy advantage, but we're just going to let this go. I was going to say, you could go either way here because you had energy. You could just shield a farm. I think about the with the move, but going to come back in here. Jelson, get ahead on energy. That's fine. Going to come up with a move again. Let's see. There, Charizard plus whatever in the back, so I'm guessing... Um, Charizard comes back in. So they are pretty weak to Jelson in the back here. Hit them with, again, yes, Blast Burn is like always, so it's their own Jelson, which is why they did not want to come in to a loaded Jelson, because then you're just so far behind. So that makes sense. Uh, get a good shit damage off. I just go Surf here. Yeah, it doesn't, doesn't matter because I think Aggrot's smacking down. Charizard on the lead makes sense why you kind of saved it, but you should be fine here to let it go to shield smack down Aggron for the win so this this is one of the pokemon where i i've gone against it a couple times and it we're gonna two shield flex here <laughs> i've gone against it a couple times yeah they they have double weak to rock they're not gonna have a good time there um i've gone against it a couple times and it's one of those things where it's like if you have a swampert you're in great situation if you don't have like an immediate answer to it, it's kind of tricky because these smackdowns like do add up, right? Um, going for the bait here. Correctly get it, which is great. Now the question is, do they sh try and bait back or are they going just straight for the nuke here? They go for it. Does not take out. Yeah, it takes a it takes a shadow ball plus like a bunch of hexes or maybe a surf. But I think at this point they could just shield and farm. They wasted two shields, and this is where you come in here. And yeah, this is kind of like, like again, unless they have like a Swampert, which is like one of the only immediate answers to this. Like Tentacruel is not an answer to this. Poison is resisted. Running Thunder on it. Scald. Yeah, Scald would hurt because you, you that rock typing kind of kills you in this, in this limited meta. But going for the Meteor Beam as opposed to the Thunder, I think that's probably the right call just because Meteor Beam does so much and it boosts your attack. Um, so for those of you who have not used Meteor Beam, it's one of those, it's really interesting move because it, it is kind of like a nuke to start with, and then it raises your attack, which is great, especially a Shadow Aggron Smackdown. So that's kind of smart to how you use it. Um, banking the move, uh, they are weak to this and they're weak to Charizard too with a Blast Burn will one shot. It's coming here, assuming that they're not going to get to two. Because they have like a focus blast and an ice punch, probably avalanche. Av avalanche is gonna hurt, but you get to a blast burn. This will KO, and then you have a move on your. Oh, you yeah, you. I think you baked a move on your Aggron for this in the back here. They have to throw, so they're gonna get to a move because the swing attack buff is just insane. Sorry if you hear some raspiness in my voice. I am once again fighting off a cold, which is what happens when you have two young kids. So meteor beam is gonna take out because <laughs> it's such, a, such a it's a good move and, and I think this is like one of the few Pokemon's that it actually like works on pretty well. I used it on Pseudo Widow in a uh, uh, used on Pseudo Widow in a tournament and it's really strong there too. But obviously limited in the in the Great League meta right now. 
this is sort of like an it's not a true abb style team but it sort of is in the fact that you want to try and draw out this you want to try and draw out swampert here because look at that a non-shadow swampert will not take you out with the hydro and you're going to get two blast birds off and again blast birds still do a ton of damage so between the wing attack and the blast burns you just took a swampert with a shield down to like almost the yellow or almost the red so that's great and now your aggron is definitely going to roam free in the back uh because unlikely they have a second option for this looks like we're going straight far down here they do land a second earthquake uh, but this is just uh getting ahead of, gonna have to shield this for sure as I say, you could have thrown and saved the shield, but you're just going with your strategy of um, getting two shield advantage here and then getting a meteor beam, boosting your attack, and then just overpowering with the smackdown. So let's see if it works here. Because what do they have on the lead? I forget they have on the lead. Um, and these are adding up. The problem is, Aegon, especially Shadow version, is very classy. So these claws are adding up real quick. Yeah. I think what you had to do is probably. Um, just take out that Swampert and keep a sh keep take it out, um, keep that Pokemon alive, deal some more chip damage, and then come with the advantage of Aggron shields up. Still, because you could have taken out you could take one Earthquake from that Swampert and taken that out before you they landed the second Earthquake. Baiting here with the Dragon Claw, which is a risky bait, but if it works, it's great because now you're just you know you're gonna KO this or grab a second shield here. So that is why you do bait sometimes because it works out. Again, so you're you're probably for those of you who don't um, are either newer, you must be wondering why are you throwing a resisted blast burn as opposed to a neutral dragon claw? And the reason is a resisted blast burn, because it gets stab, stay, same type attack bonus. And because it's like a nuke, it does like, I don't I don't know off the top of my head, but it's 100 plus, maybe 100-ish, somewhere around there, damage. A resisted blast burn with stab is still going to do more than a neutral dragon claw um, non-stab. So that is why you throw the blast burn against any of the water. So that is the correct move. Um, now coming in here, see... I was about to say, this, these moves, are, you're going to probably have to take one because they're probably going to get to two anyways. But Grass Knots still will hurt because, you again, you're half rock, so you're taking neutral from this. Got to show one back here. Yep. And this is a problem with SmackDown. It's not a problem, right? But it's obviously not a fast charging move. Looks like we did CMP there, which is nice. Getting a bit ahead on energy. Not that I think you're going to get to another move here. We'll see. Yeah, I was about to say, you're just going to SmackDown anyways. SmackDown is one of those things where it's like, it's such a, it's a move. There's different types of move in this game, right? There's what I call the the ones that are just terrible that get you fast energy generation, mud shot, lock on. So it doesn't do a ton of damage, but it gets you to your fast moves super quick. There's the balance moves. Um, there's like four actually, because there's balance moves. I'm trying to get an example because there's then there's like the balanced but also good energy generation. Like sh sh I put Shadow Claw and Counter, and that and that those two Shadow Claw and Counter are just like good damage and good energy generation, which makes those two moves just so strong. A balance move is like kind of like Powder Snow, where it can start adding up and it has like decent energy generation. And it's not doing nothing like lock on and stuff like that. So I think Powder Snow is kind of like that. And then, like I said, Counter and Counter and Shadow Claw are just like good damage and good energy generation. And then there's Smackdown, um, which kind of goes into like your longer. You don't see many confusion users, but like um, complete the undercharge. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. I don't hate that. I was like, why are you undercharging? You're undercharging because you know that every single thing this is going to throw here is resisted. Uh, you're just going to get a head on energy so you can come out with a meteor beam, basically. Uh, yeah, so smart undercharge there. Yeah, Smackdown Confusion. Um, ooh, cool Jellicent. 
Conquer Dilly. Yeah, that's a pretty good answer. Again, they'll still get to two here. And you're going to have to shield one. Maybe you can get to a meteor beam before they get to the second one. That was a pretty quick switch. Let's see. Yeah, I was going to say throw that, force the shield, and then get that boost. So you did force the shield. Question is, can they get to two more here? And I'm thinking the answer may be yes. They may be able to get to two here before you take this, smack this down all the way. I would also, I, I, yeah, I actually like this play. I would also commit the double shield because you're going to get to another meteor beam and you're already boosted. So you keep switch. This is going to grab a shield no matter what comes in. Um, and this is why you run thunder because a boost to thunder is probably going to do a ton of damage here. Doesn't even take it out, which is interesting. I don't know if Justin's, but still damage is done. Look at that. Um, and then what is in the back? Obama Snow. This is a tricky one because non shadow versus non shadow. Will two powder snow, will two weather balls take you out? Probably still. Yeah, Charizard's a little glassy. I too would bait here because I think it's probably just worth forcing them to throw quickly. Because if you throw a blast burn, what that does, and they shield properly, what that allows them to do is farm up a bunch more. So they're going to come out and have a better chance to get your gel sign. So if you bait there, um, it's unlikely they're going to have energy. That being said, an energy ball from this range will not KO you to begin with. So I don't bait much, but I like that bait there, and then it's an easy farm down there. So strong team, I think you're playing it how basically I would play it too. Um, try and draw out of water. When you lose lead, blast burn. You don't need to draw out of water per se. You sort of do because you don't want... Uh, the thing is there's a lot of water in this league that isn't Swamp Art, right? So that won't resist the smackdowns. Um... This is a great answer for Jelson. They have nothing to throw. Everything's resisted, so you can just let this go, farm up a bunch, throw the Shadow Ball, take it out, and then still probably get another Shadow Ball off. So this will take it out. They'll come back in. Oh, doesn't even take it out, but one more Hex is good. I also would throw the Shadow Ball. Trying, You'll probably grab a Shield here. I'm interested. I'd be surprised if they don't Shield. Um... Now you're either going to try and catch or just sacri like force them to throw and sacrifice. Knowing that they're not going to really have anything to throw. They baited. Why would you bait there? Oh, no. There's no point of baiting there. Now you grab the shield and this game is over. Doesn't matter what's in the back. Yeah. You can't bait in that situation. Anyways, thanks for the team. Um... Aggrounds, so I don't, if you watch my channel for a while, I don't use Bastidon a lot. Um, there's actually been a movement away from these. I mean, there, there's a lot of Bastidons in the Great League, but I think that's just an, that's just a um, part of like the meta right now with the Owl. I think there's been a movement away from these three to four turn moves towards those with the two to one moves. So, and I think it's because people have become way better at counting and catching and counting and catching on three to four turn moves is very very easy if you actually know how to count properly right so what i think is happening is you see movement away from it and the, and the best example i can give is um dragon breath versus dragon tail whatever pick your poison dragonite or whatever they both do the same Damn, no. They both do the same energy generation. But Dragon Tail actually does more damage. So you're thinking, why would people use Dragon Breath when you have the same energy generation but more damage with Dragon Tail? And it's because of what I just said there. A lot of people are, are way better at counting, uh, are way better at uh, optimizing their fast move uh, and charge move optimization. Um, so that makes the three and four turn and five turn if you use incinerate which again it's only on a couple pokemon but that makes those moves a lot tougher to run in this league so that's why you're seeing a lot of one and two turn fast moves um 
So just keep that in mind. If you again, three is three is three sort of borderline. Four and five are like seem to be disappearing a lot. Uh, but yeah, that's kind of what I know. It's very very much like a two turn, sometimes three turn fast move, uh, meta for all these leagues right now. So that is it. I uh, appreciate the the battles. If you want to submit some battles, link in the description. Um, yeah, and I got another great league team coming tomorrow. I'm, I've got some try hard great league teams because I've I've had fun doing like these uh, testing out Pokemon that I haven't used in a while. But I need to start getting yellow. So <laughs> uh, I this morning I put up an Obama Snow. Uh, tomorrow viewer viewer suggested team which I ran with which worked very well, and then I got a couple of teams that I put together that are working very well. So uh, a bunch of those teams coming Wednesday league turnover to Mass League Premier. So we'll do top teams there and a few teams uh, a few battles there. That's it. So I appreciate you guys watching. Thanks for the thumbs up and comments. I'll see you guys in the next one.